What's up friends, I got a good one for you today. Super old, super gnarly, safety not included, old Sears snar blower. We don't know a ton about her. We came over here to the, to the dog tags. We got model 9236. Preliminary searches did not yield many results, but I'm gonna do some more digging. I will leave some info down there in the old uh, squawk boxes if I find anything. Eric got her for what, 10 bucks? Yep. Looks like, what's it, a 20, 21 inch cut? Yeah, just about. Give or take. Uh, Tecumseh motor, good old fashioned flathead. Somebody put a mainland communism carburetor on there. We're not certain that's the right carburetor, uh, but the real treat is you got the, the sideways motor. This is before they figured out the traditional pulley setup for snar blowers. Uh, yeah, and obviously there would have been a cover here, which is long gone, but uh, yeah, man, pretty interesting to look at. You mind pulling the uh, the old cables there, and that would be auger or that would no, that would be that that's the the drive, and this is the auger. Yeah, yeah, obviously, right. So you're pulling the auger, which is spinning right off the motor. Idler here, tensioner into this big. Would that be a bull at that point? And then over to a chain driven. You mind tilting her up? Uh, and that's what what <laughs> what drives the toothed maw. Uh, now Eric had a, also look at these. I love these uh, crazy little. There actually are little ball bearings in there uh, for rolling, um, uh, you know, razors, lifters. There, she runs, she chooches, she's got sparks, she dials. But what was the problem? <laughs> it's either going way too fast or way too slow. <laughs> yeah, there's no in betweeny. So what we're gonna do right now is we're just gonna fire her up. And uh, I think maybe we'll, you mind if I return to factory settings and Go just for, for my own here, I'm gonna hand over cameraman duties to you. So on a carburetor like this, you're looking to be, probably too big, that's okay. Uh, all the way in. Oh, see, I didn't play with that one. That's your idle. So you were out, yeah, you were out about two. You wanna come out half. One, maybe we'll go one and a half right now on this one. And then you said you were messing with the main jet. Yeah. Which is down here. And I, just for my own edification. Oh, uh, it's way out probably right now. Cause that's when it tried to blow up on me. I just unscrewed half, it all the way. One, half, two, half, three, half. Yeah, you were in about four. <laughs> so we're gonna come out. Where's the mark? Uh, half. One, half, two. And we got a little bit of fire water in there. Um, have not pulled the bulb off, right? But I mean, she's she's firing. Yeah, so she fires sure fine. How we need to. Oh, prime. All the way up. A little bit of chokety choke. She's loud too, just let you know. She's loud? I mean, yeah, she's got a muffler. <laughs> <laughs> this little thing right there. I mean, screw it. Screw the neighbors, right? She wanted to go. Is that not absolutely terrifying when it starts running away on yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, so here's the thing. <laughs> it tried running away when I tried to idle down, but I don't think the governor's set up properly on this thing. I think somebody took this carb off to replace it with the mainland communism one. And when they put it back on, the, the um, governor didn't get put back together, right? Because it was okay. It, it wasn't, 
wasn't running totally right, but uh, certainly she runs, she's got potential. I don't think this is the right carb. Oh, the bowl, the primer's not attached to anything. <laughs> oh, so priming does nothing. <laughs> priming does nothing, there's your primer line. Um, I think this is a four horsepower. Okay. I think this, and you can tell by the choke, is for a bigger, and I, you can usually tell by the throat hole too. Let me see the camera, let me see if we can get her down in there. The throat hole's bigger. Uh, yeah, so I can, uh, I can barely see, hold on. All right, let's pull this, uh, this plate would have been a mount for the, um, sometimes they're hard to get off. Nope, not always. <laughs> it would have been a, obviously the mount for the cover, which is long gone. Long since been deleted. Every cover's been deleted. <laughs> yep. But somebody was definitely in here recently. Let me see, can you see down in there? It's hard to tell because obviously the carburetor is a Venturi, so it buckles in the middle, but I'm pretty sure I can see that the mounting surface in here is smaller than the throat hole of this carb. So this is the wrong carburetor for this. <sighs> no big deal. I have the right one at home. I have an extra for a four or five horse, which I can send up here. They have a different choke. That's how you can tell usually. Oh, yeah. uh, also, somebody did some fun. Got a service loop in here. Pretty big service loop with a brass <laughs> fitting. I think all in all, this thing needs some TLC. But what a honey of a machine. It, I will put on the screen somewhere if I can figure out what years they made this. But I'm guessing, I'm, I'm willing to bet it's points. I'm almost certain it's points. Points ignition. Um, let's see. I have to pull the cowl off to confirm that. Yeah, do whatever you want to do. You know me. Um, it's funny. Last time that that this was running away from me, I never thought to pull the spark plug loop. Yep. Yep. Um. Yeah, because something's wrong, and I've seen this before, where somebody takes the carb off and they just put the spring for the governor any old place, mm -hmm. and it actually really matters. It's interesting how nice the paint is. It, it looked like it was well kept until... Well, I got until it. it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I hate how you have to check the oil, it's like in the back corner. Yeah, right down in there. Yeah, if you guys can see that. Right there is the oil dip. Right there is the oil I don't oil know check. how you intend to get it. You may have noticed we're not at the homestead. We're up at our family's property. Up in the Great White North of upstate New York. Eric was going to gift this to one of our cousins. I said, hold on, can I play with that thing first? Because <laughs> you know me and old snar blowers. I wonder where these were made. A lot of these were made in Canada back in the day and today. Okay, remind me to put that piece back on. <laughs> to do what the previous owners did not do and put some of the dang shields back on. <laughs> we're looking at 11 steeps. We're probably going to the yard tomorrow. It's cold. I know. I, do, I have to go to the yard even yeah. if I just run in real quick. Now, let me find like a screwdriver. Now, plastic fins, beware. No big deal. How am I going to hold this? How? Huh. It's a pretty light compression. <laughs> I, I mentioned there might have been some blow by. If you guys can see there, there's a bunch of oil, and that was coming from this vicinity over here. I'm not sure exactly where, but it runs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no big deal, though. I think this guy jammed in these toofs. Toofers. Do it. Over here and do the honors, Eric. What am I doing? Hold them. Yep. Just hold that as I. I'm going to be spinning like this. Alright. So. Or maybe you want to be on the other side? What do you think we go? Right. I'm thinking. Jam it. I can get up high enough and you start. Oh, you're going that way. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to yeah, go. Yeah, I think you can go the other side. There's a good chance this doesn't work, but. Somewhere there's an old head screaming at us. Yep. Oh, yeah, there we 
Woohoo! Here, Brian, I got you a broken <laughs> snar blower. Yeah. It was a part. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. Spare parts. Just this guy right there. You see the uh, pry bar there? Pry bars. That's how I get them off the lawnmower, so. Get some. Wait. Okay. Try not to lose the keyway. Uh, see, is there anything else we should do while we're down here? Not really. That's all there is to it. I'm almost 100% sure this is a four or five horsepower. It's small, little guy. Tecumseh. Obviously, the flathead as they all are. Somebody's done some real strange service loop. Whatever. So, you got to hear a run. Didn't really get to hear a run well. But I uh, thought I'd share that guy with you. If you guys have any info on this strange little machine, I'd love to know. I'm super intrigued. Like, it's got plastic covers back here. It's missing a belly pan. I don't know if it ever had one. I'm going to flip it up because we've got all kinds of <laughs> stuff here. But if we get her run in properly, she'll be on the channel again. If you guys like snore blowers, I recommend you subscribe to this silly little channel because boy, do we have a lot of snore blowers. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we plan on more. Uh, yep, all types, different types. Come this summer, we'll have mowers and other stuff, but for right now, all snow blowers all the time. So if you like the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I don't know. See you later. Go watch a different one of my videos. Thanks.